Okay, guys, uh, today we are going to revisit a topic that a lot of uh, you on comments have been asking to revisit this method again because we've made some mistakes and I've seen other YouTubers make the same exact mistakes that I have done. So today we're going to do just that. We're going to connect PlayStation 3 controllers to a Windows PC via Bluetooth. But this time, I'll show you how to select it, how to select the uh, Bluetooth dongle and not have to uninstall everything ev uh, every time in order to use your main computer's Bluetooth. Because in some cases, it has been known to do just that, to block the entire Bluetooth uh, usability of your computer before we go anywhere before we connect any of our uh controllers we have to insert our bluetooth dongle so it's ready if you're using bluetooth dongle by the way if you're not that's fine you can go ahead with the main computer's uh bluetooth now let's go right here and to this site i will leave a link on description there is a lot of versions of the script toolkit and unfortunately if you go with the latest ones, this method will not work and you will have a lot of problems just as I had. So go to this version here. It's uh, SCP Toolkit 1.6.238.16.010. This is the one that you want to download. This is the setup .exe file. Click download. Let me minimize now this window because we are done with it. And let's wait for it to download. Why I'm doing this because I've been suffering to find a more solid solution to this problem. How to connect these PlayStation 3 controllers to the PC, but in a better way and more solid way. Here we hit agree, we leave it where it's at, hit next, and here now, I'm gonna select everything because there's a few options unselected. I'm gonna select them all. Hit install, click yes when uh, asked for. Wait for the installer to finish. Okay, it has uh, finished. We click finish here. I'm gonna open a folder right here on desktop and just name it uh, script toolkit. Just like that, SCP toolkit. And I'm gonna grab all these uh, new software that was just installed and put right there is that's all you will get uh when you install it it's one two three four five now we before we go anywhere just be familiar where we put them on the folder now we're gonna insert our drive uh playstation 3 controller just plug it in and you will hear the click on the window side and the lights will start blinking like usual and here now we have to go to driver installer. It yes when prompted and wait for it to just uh, pop on the screen. And right here, we have all these selected Bluetooth, DualShock 3 and DualShock 4. First, we go to Bluetooth and we select the dongle that we inserted here. Or in your case, if you decide to use your main Bluetooth uh, device on your computer, you just go through the list and find it. Mine is an Intel. But no, I'm going to go with a dongle because I want to keep it separate from my main Intel. And the second one, let's go and find our uh, DualShock 3 uh, USB device. And it's right here. PlayStation R3 controller. This is our PlayStation device or PlayStation controller. And at this point, we simply hit install right here and wait for it to install. It will do all these pops and all these noises. Just give it a minute. It will not take too long. You might get another pop if your uh, device has not been installed with Windows itself before. You might get a pop to install from Windows itself to install it as a driver. Hit yes and install on that one too and then just wait for this main installer to finish and right now our drivers are all in, uh, installed here now we can just click x right here and now let me open the uh, toolkit monitor this i like to keep open the whole time just so i can see what's going on here and it will show up somewhere here this is the main driver as you see right there and this is the monitor double click on the monitor to bring it up to your screen we're done with the folder and right now you see pad one uh is inserted via usb let's unplug it and click you can sometimes it will go automatically to uh number one to uh, connect it as pad one but if it doesn't you just click this uh playstation logo here 
and it will uh, search or trigger the search. As you see, it's working. Now, let me insert a secondary draw, uh, pad, and now it will designate the second one as pad number two. Let's click it here. Just give it a second. And as you see, pad number two, now the light is blinking on number two. And as you see here on the script monitor, it says USB. Let's unplug it and click the uh, logo here. And as you see, pad number two now is connected via Bluetooth. We have two more slots. If I had two more pads, I can connect up to four pads and they will all work uh, simultaneously. I'm not sure if the camera will uh, show you. Yes, as you see, pad number one and pad number two. So now the lights are selected and good to go. Now, if you want to shut down this pad, let's say you're done playing your game and all that, it's very easy. Hold the uh, left one and left and right uh, one all, both together and the PlayStation logo and wait for it. Now we turn off the pad. And if you want to turn on the pad, it's super easy. Just click on the PlayStation logo here and wait for it to sync with a Bluetooth. And it goes back to number one as it was before. And this is all it takes. And now just to prove what we're doing here, let's uh, open a game and play for a minute just to test it and i'm just gonna go with probably i don't know beam and g why not right i'm gonna launch game okay i'm just gonna do a free roam here uh i don't think it matters actually i'm just gonna go in a free field right here okay i'm gonna spawn right there and uh, in a minute i'll show you with a uh, two players as well on a game as you see this is our game and i'm playing it with a bluetooth pad this one look it works either one or two, as you see, this is player number two or pad number two, and it still works. So boom, just to prove the concept. Now, let me get out of there. Let me go to blur because blur has a uh, two player version. If I'm not wrong, let's try blur. Okay. This is player number one. I'm going to go multiplayer and I'm going to do split screen. Okay. One is sign in and I'm going to hit join on this one. Player two is in now and player one is in so now let's go uh inside and i'm just gonna do a playlist and this is player two as you saw so it's both uh players at the same time playing right now and the remote the controllers are still on one and two and the screen should be split now in half just in a second here as you see both screens are open let me click them both as you see right there let me turn now play the other player as you see I'm, I'm just testing here as you see player number one is right here and i can just hit gas and player number two i'm gonna hit brakes just to prove to you that these are working this is gas player number one and this is brakes number two so you can play with two players and up to four players at the same time now let's get out of here okay so and the other problem is that when you do this kind of connection that we have here with a dom and all this stuff going on we sometimes lose the bluetooth as you see here on the screen my bluetooth is good it's still working and the uh pads are still working and if i go to my bluetooth settings as you see my bluetooth says on and i can connect other stuff and as you see here i already have them connected but in your case let's say it uh bumps out your main bluetooth even when you have a dong well let's do uh drivers or uh, let's go device manager sorry because i put drivers i don't know why i put drivers but computer knew better than me to do device manager and here at the bluetooth connection in your case if your bl main bluetooth goes out and when you click here it's not even showing up at the devices it will show up if your bluetooth works properly Keep that in mind if it works properly but you will see only the main bluetooth here and bluetooth device but none of these other ones because we are obviously connected to a lot of things what all you have to do here is uh click on the main device as you see here go to main device here and you click disable device give it a second then you go back right click on it and hit enable device so you're just restarting your main Bluetooth. And that's all it is to it. If your Bluetooth controller or device works properly. And keep in mind, guys, as I told you before, the only version that works 
is the Script Toolkit version 1.6.23.16.010. This is the only one that is working so far in 2023 to be more exact april 2023 and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in more videos i'll try to come back with whatever solutions that we need for problems that we see and as i promised guys i keep working tirelessly as much as i can to resolve as many problems as i can and if you honor me with a like and subscribe or share this video to someone that you think might benefit from it would be a great favor to me other than that i hope you enjoyed and learned something and we'll see you next time bye